The Engineering, Science, and Applied Mathematics Department at Northwestern University's McCormick School of Engineering takes science and engineering problems and solves them using mathematical models. The focus is on application. What I want to be doing is mathematics that has ramifications. These are problems that are going to involve engineers, they're going to involve scientists, they're going to involve policy makers. And as a mathematician who has a language that can span many disciplines, I think we have a, a unique contribution to make. Applied mathematical models can be of critical importance to our planet. When the swine flu began its global invasion, Dirk Brockman emerged as a leading national expert, called upon by the federal government to predict how, where, and for how long the epidemic would spread. The spatial spread of epidemics uh, in the modern world um, clearly, there are very many components that are involved in, in this process. People interact, they infect one another, they go from one place to the next. If you look at the, uh, the spread of epidemics of the past, you see very regular patterns. The department's outstanding faculty conducts wide-ranging research in five broad areas. This video will highlight just a couple examples of this exciting research. So this is something else than what, what other people have done based on properties of single nodes. An infectious disease is an example of a complex system. One of the uh, things that we do in our group is try to extract uh, the key components and dynamical features of epidemics nowadays. We gathered all this data on all the flights worldwide and investigated this amazingly complicated air transportation network and that involves computer algorithms and new analysis techniques. There are a lot of, you know, pretty sophisticated ways that you can, you can analyze this from a mathematical perspective and find out, you know, things like how would a disease spread if it starts at this airport as opposed to this airport, developing accurate models for how diseases spread on these networks. Fluids are central components in many industrial and scientific systems. Research in the department uses analytical and computational methods to study the dynamics of these fluids. The development of novel, biocompatible materials is vital as we strive to create a sustainable world. The department is deeply involved in predicting the behavior of these innovative materials. Computational biology is used to broaden our knowledge of biological processes that occur in medical treatment, agriculture, and the environment. The scale of this research ranges in size from individual neurons to applications on a global scale. Mary Silber is working on applications to help scientists understand climate change. You have to work with people who know about how the ocean contributes, who know about the carbon cycle, who know about the atmosphere, and how all these systems interact with each other. Scientific computing, including parallel computing, is essential to developing complex models, and the department is committed to the development of new, improved computational procedures. For undergraduates, the Department of Engineering and Applied Mathematics offers a flexible BS program. Undergrads also have opportunities to collaborate with the department's award-winning faculty in research. We bring in an undergraduate to do research with us over a couple of years. These will lead to a senior thesis, they'll lead to research opportunities over the summer for the student, and it's a way for us to build up what are reasonable questions that could go on to become a PhD thesis. We are working on how to mathematically model the freeze drying of cells. The project is funded by a grant from the National Science Foundation and I'm working on the numerical simulations, so taking computers and math and combining them. The graduate program stresses the techniques of applied mathematics and specific applications of those techniques. What I'm studying is delay equations and feedback control. So delay equations come up in all sorts of applications, whether this is models of traffic control on the internet or more biological applications like um, pathologies in respiration or breathing. Lots of people are doing interdisciplinary research here. Research on the interface of physics and biology, ecology, economics. A wide range of opportunities await applied math alumni. Many have been hired straight from their PhD by companies such as 3M, IBM and Bell Labs. Many have become researchers at government labs. Others have chosen to become professors in academic institutions, large and small. I'm kind of eager to explore just the range 
of career choices that are out there because I think there's a lot. I think uh, applied math opens up a lot of doors.